गोपीजन सुक्त बिंदावन मनोहर वाछाकुवश कि पति पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम कंकती वाचालंगति गिरी यत्की पातमहंग वंदी परमानंदमाधव बृंदावी तुलसीदेव वै पिया केशव स्नभक्ति वे देवी सत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने साधानुरक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम गीतातिहम बनत बाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुनाथबिंद यदपल्लवन कचंदमनीछटाय विस्फुर्जीतकूष्वर्श पूर्णागरस सागर सारोति साराधि कामी कदा कृपाण करो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद सियादगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद सियादगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तने कवितरो कमलायताक्ष विशाबरो दिजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा भतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तब पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदित दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति चदा भावानुपेण सदा नरानम गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटाकलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित वाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनंगमदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज विशनाथ वागीशजुष्यु वदने लक्ष्मीजी जस्ते हृदय संबीद सिंगमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 
कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे प्राये न देव मुनयो सभी मुक्ति कामा मऊन चरण दिवजनी न पार्थ निष्ठा नैता न विहाय कृपना न विमुक्षको नान्याम तदसरण भ्रम तो नुपे प्राय न देव मुनयो सभी मुक्ति कामा मौन चरम दिवजनी न पार्थ निष्ठा नैता न विहाय कृपना न विमुक्षको नान्याम तदसरण भ्रम तो नुपे गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पोभा जगत गुरु टोल वी कैन रिसीव भगवत कृपा वैकुंठ कृपा बाय द हेल्प ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव नॉट डायरेक्टली भक्ति सिद्धांत सर गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पोभा टोल That Bhagavat Kipa cannot come to us directly. Tat prakash, tat sakti, atat bhaya, tat prakash or bhaya Guru Vishnu, we can get bhakti. That's why we know very well. Krishna bhakti is Janma Mool Hoy Sadhu Sangha. The very root cause, the very root cause of Krishna bhakti is Sadhu Sangha. Many time we hear, but we have to remember this point. Bhakti Shidanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Baba speaking. We can only do one thing. What all we hear from Guru Barga, Sauto Bani, Guru Padpane Katha, the message of Guru Barga. We can. we can speak in front of you baba speaking we can speak about all bani vaibhav or sauto bani in front of you all this much we can say this much we can do just like a peon we have no other capacity भगवान इज अधक्षज वस्तु अधक्षज वस्तु मीन भगवान कैन नेवर बी रियलाइज नेवर बी परसिव्ड बाय द हेल्प ऑफ सेंस ऑर्गन दैट इज कॉल अधक्षज अधक्षज वस्तु कैन नेवर बी नोन बाय दिस कर्मी दो आर इन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ कर्मी भूमिका कर्मिक प्लेटफॉर्म इफ भगवान बिकैन इफ भगवान बिकम एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ माई सेंस रियलाइजेशन इफ इफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड बिकम बिकम एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ माई सेंस यू नो यू नो रियलाइजेशन इफ आई कैन परसीव देन भगवान बिकैन एम ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ सेंस ऑफ एंजॉयमेंट भग्ग वस्तु वी कैन एंजॉय भगवान वी कैन लुक भगवान विथ अ मूड हाउ ब्यूटिफुल दिस वे ऑल आवर सेंस ऑर्गन कैन बी कैन बिकम सो भगवान इन दैट केस भगवान वी कैन बिकम एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ आवर सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन इट कैन नॉट सो हैपन Actual Bhagwan is the center point of all love. In infinity love, wherever what kind of love going on, we don't know. But be sure, Bhagwan is the center point of all love. We are part and parcel of indefinite all loved. We are part and parcel of. 
indefinite, all loved. Just like a sun god and the rays coming, Baba speaking, rays are not sun, rays are not sun god, but at the same time, without sun god, rays cannot come. So has some in inseparable relationship, some on the gyan. Similarly, we all Jivatmas they have Achinta Vedavet Prakash. Bhagavan, Jivas, they are the Achinta Vedavet Prakash, inconceivable, simply and simultaneously different or non different from the Supreme Law. Inconceivable, Achinta. Many times before we discussed one slok, you can remember Prasivam Bhagavatam. Mahabadis they think Jivatma is equal to Brahma. They are speaking. But from Bhagavatam we know very well. Aparimita Druvasto no Vrito Yodi Sarabhagata Stara Hinasa Shate Tiniyamo Drupani Toratha Ajanita Janama Yuta the Vimuchani on Trivavit Samamanu Jad Samamanu Janatam Jadamatam Mata Dushtaya Aparimita Dubasto no Vito Yudi Sarvagata Small tiny jiva, infinite small jiva. We cannot say Jiva is just equal to Brahma. Qualitatively is Brahma. Bhagavan is Vibhu Vastu. We cannot, we cannot measure Bhagavan. So the Siddhanta, proper Siddhanta is that the Jivas, small Jivas are given some liberty those jivas, they are given some liberty, but li that liberty is also under the control of Bhagavan. Jivas are ultimately, jivas are given some liberty, it's okay. But ultimately, those jivas are under the control of Bhagavan, because all karma fall, whatever they are doing, according to the influence of Maya, the all result, karma fall, Bhagavan going to give. Follow. Always Bhagavan going to give karma fall. Karma fall they cannot, you know, according to the karma, Bhagavan going to give the result of their karma. So the ultimate controlling, so the ultimate controlling is under the control of Bhagavan. Though jivas are given some liberty, Jivas are chit particle, I mean qualitatively all the same. Bhagavan Chinmay, Jiva Chinmay, Bhagavan having liberty, but Jiva having liberty. But ultimately, Bhagavan, Bhagavan is Purno Vibhu Vastu, Purno Chetan Vastu. So, Aparimita Druvasto no Vito Jodi Sarvagata Tarahina Sashate, Tiniyamo, Drubani, Toratha, Ajanita Janamayo, Toda Vimuchani, Antri Babit, Samamanu Janatam, Jadamatam Matadus Tataya. If somebody is going to claim that Jiva is going to enjoy absolute liberty, then it is wrong. Actually, all jivas, they are under the control, under the rules and regulation of Bhagavan. Though given some, jivas are given some liberty, but still ultimately. So anyway, Baba speaking, simultaneously, simultaneously, difference and non-difference. Inconceivable, this thing, this relationship. That is Ochinta Vedavit Prakash. Tatastasakti Vedavit Prakash. 
Jivas are the eternal servant of Bhagavan, but they can remember in bonded condition. Prabhupada speaking, Jivas, they have no relationship, no connection with this material world. With this material world, Jivas, they have no connection, not a smell of connection. But still, according to your wrong activities, wrong bonded condition, they are coming in contact with the material nature, prakriti, and going to going to adopt a material body and inside subtle body. So until and unless subtle subtle body, so until and unless we are successful to rapture, break the subtle body, subtle body, we can never we can never go out of Maya completely. Completely we can we cannot go out of Maya. So long as our body is there. And when we can rapture this fine body, in that case we can cross the influence of Maya. Bhagavan, I already told Jivas are not absolute, not enjoying absolute liberty. Bhagavan is absolutely enjoying. Purna Chetan, Purna Vibhuvastu. Purna Sarad Vastu. So Seva is the eternal Dharma of all Jivas. Baba speaking, Jivas are giving some liberty. So have some liberty. So Jeev can bo go both way. I mean towards Vaikuntra Jagat and can jump into Maya also. That is why it's called Tatashta Sakti. Papa speaking, a jivas cannot stand in Tatashta condition. Tatashta condition is not imaginary, not fictitious, but still it cannot be touched. Nobody can stand in Tatashta condition. Tatashta condition, like you, you cannot see your mind. So that's why. You cannot deny that the mind is not there. Similarly, Tata Baba speaking, in Tatastha condition, no jivas can stand. Either jivas, they, they will have to go to towards Maya or they are bound to go to Bhagavan. These two. In between, this Tatastha condition is an absolute condition, but still, in this condition, the jivas cannot stand. It is called nirvishesh condition. So this condition we cannot, you know, to do everything when all, when all my activities and actions, when all my activities and action, everything I am doing for the total satisfaction of Bhagavan. Then it is called Bhakti. Bhagavad Dasha is called Bhakti. When Bhagavad Dasha going to when Bhagavad Dasha when Bhagavad Dasha going to going up and up and up, then gradually it takes the form of Shakya, Bhatsalya, Madhur, etc. Annavilas. Karma, Gyan, Yoga, Tapa, Brato, this kind of covering cannot allow you to do favorable bhajan. Anukulya Shashankalpa Pratikulya Vivarjanam. Rupa Goswami was right. Or Rupa Goswami writing Rasamrita Sindhu, Annavilasita Sunyam, Gyanu Karmadi Anabritam. Annavilasita sunyam, jnana karmadi anabritam, anukullena kishtanu silanam bhakti ruttama. Hold on. So, favorable kishtanu silanam. Favorable means which Krishna can like. Auto-suggestive matter is not allowed in the field of bhajan. Okay, I like, you know, this so I can make an offer to Bhagavan. It's called auto-suggestive matter. Auto-suggestive matter procedure is not allowed here. 
You'll have to take information from Sadhu Guru Vishnu. What Krishna can like? What Krishna cannot like? What is the procedure of the seva of Radharani? What is the reason for why Krishna feeling topmost? What is the what, what is the reason for why Krishna getting topmost satisfaction when Radharani going to serve? Why? What can be the reason? And what is the definition of bhakti? According to our fanciful attitude, we can start bhakti, do bhakti. Someday we can do kirtan, someday not kirtan. So many things we can do fancifully. It is not called actual bhakti. So we we'll have to we we'll have to take information about what is actual bhakti. From Guru Vaishnava we can get proper information. Otherwise, some of us, many letters coming, somebody with I can do this, this tava I can do, I can do this, I can do some separate mantra. I say, no, not allowed. Well, I can do for the benefit of public. No. Common public or you or me, everybody can get absolute benefit by the help of Harinam Mahamantra. If you are going to take decision to give some another mantra for publics, some public, some people, they are suffering, so you can, you know, give some separate mantra or you can use the procedure of astrology. It's not devotional procedure. It is not devotion. Devotional activities, you know, is totally absolute. We cannot run fancifully. Follow. So, what is the definition of bhakti? So, the Anna, we like to discuss this point also, but today time cannot promise so many discussion. So, Prabhupada speaking, Prabhupada speaking one example, Prabhupada giving, Prabhupada giving one example, that one woodcutter, Prabhupada giving one example, very nice example. One woodcutter, woodcutter means was a, that, that is a lively wood. They like to cut, you know, wood and sell in the market and going to manage the bread, daily bread. So, Prabhupada speaking, one day, one woodcutter, he took, he took decision to enter into Sundarban. Sundarban, you know? is the biggest forest in West Bengal. East Bengal and West Bengal both covering the Sundarban. You know, big forest. And Royal Bengal tiger there. Very, very many, many ferocious animals are there. The, so the woodcutter wood took decision to enter into, you know, Sundarban to collect wood from the forest and sell and can make money. There are so many ferocious animals living. It is the inhabitant of so many, you know, ferocious animals. So without any, without any knife or streak or gun, if somebody going, there is no surety, he can surely lose his life. He can, there is no surety, he can die. So, it is a decision that any man going there, they should take help of any weapon, like gun or wire, you know, you know short. Because any time life can go away, there is no surety, there is no guarantee. So, one old man, very wise man, he wanted to give advice to that woodcutter. Well, now I know that you are going to enter into Sundarban forest. Follow. You must take the help of somebody, 
Don't go alone, or if you at all go, you must take weapon with you to save yourself, because there is otherwise no guarantee. But the wood, but the woodcutter, he think himself a very wise man. Oh, say no need of taking any weapon. I can prove. I can prove that it is useless. Actually, no need of taking any weapon while going to a forest. Why? Because there is so many, you know, trees and you know, creeper, everything there. If any tiger or any ferocious animal coming, I can take a log, medium-sized log, and I can fight with them. No problem. I cannot take any weapon. He is going to give argument. He is going to argue that all foolish people, they don't know there is so many weapon there. Weapon mean stick. We can I can arrange big big log. I can cut and take and fight with you know tiger. No problem. You foolish! You are going to take. You are going to carry coal. You are going to carry coal into the mind of coal. The woodcutter going to start argument with the old wise man that you are speaking wrong. It is just. It is just like. It is just like. It is just like to carry coal into coal mine is useless. So I am not so foolish. Uh, there is big big trees and you know medium size or slim. I can immediately cut. I have the cutter. Immediately I can fight with you know any ferocious animal at all going to attack me. Then where 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 a bear can go, where where jackal can go, where tiger can go. Oh no problem. The woodcutter, he think, he, he think himself himself very wise. So he took decision to go to forest, avoiding the instruction of the wise old man. Prabha speaking, the foolish woodcutter don't know whenever any ferocious animal going to attack. In the meantime, he will have to choose one. In a sizable tree and cut. In the meantime, while it will take some time to cut the tree, in the meantime, if the tiger or bear or any ferocious animal going to attack, then he cannot save himself, and the tiger or the lion can drink the blood there in the body of that woodcutter. Woodcutter couldn't, you know. Understand this point, Prabhupada speaking. Prabhupada speaking, some days after, because, uh, because that man was killed, that woodcutter was immediately killed by a ferocious tiger, no problem. One day, Prabhupada speaking, after this incident, Prabhupada speaking, after this incident, after this, in, after some, after this incident, some months, some months after, after this incident over, one day, one very, very nice elevated sadhu, he doing Sankirtan, very nice Sankirtan, his heart is full of love for Bhagavan. He can see, he can discover Bhagavan everywhere. He can look. Sarva Jeeve. Even if you can see Bhagavan inside the heart of a snack, then the snack surely cannot attack you. This Siddhanta you don't know. If you can see tiger inside if, I, if you can see Bhagavan inside tiger, then surely the tiger cannot attack you. Not possible. Like the case of Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, Bihari, going to carry him in a basket on head. In the way of Jarikhanta forest, 
one tiger was sleeping in the forest and bihari going to going to going back oh baba my god there is tiger baba ji mara shouting hey where is tiger but there is tiger no is the parshad of gauranga go oh, no problem then tiger surely not going to attack or the case of balabhadra and other brahman who used to help mahaprabhu in in the way of his trouble through jari khanda you can remember there are also tiger elephant lion they are dancing so it is not applicable for everybody i can also give one example some 50 or 60 years back this happened only 50 60 years back there is one editorial bhavan in gorakhpur there is a arrangement so many editors they are going to edit their books in different languages this kind of facility is there this kind of facility was there it was opened by said ji jaydal wenka their building is very big building there is one orchard very nice flower garden and everything and all around not so locality it's like a small forest sub forest so there is also arrangement of editorial building there all editors those who are going to edit different kind of language for different articles or books publication and another building is there where <coughs> where all general sadhus those who are coming from outside the sadhus they can stay there one very old sadhu is always from ramanandi samba always speaking ram naam always always doing ram naam kirtan all the time that sadhu one day doing tulsi parikram in the orchard and while doing parikram one very poisonous snack was there come in front of him now he has done two or three parikram and another parikram have to complete but due to snack he cannot go then is very old man with the stick he is playing with the snack he is with the stick he is playing with the with the stick he is playing with the snack hey pak give me space the snack doing fosh the snack doing and the sadhu laughing and joking with the snack but i am not going to fear you can do fosh or fosh whatever you do i am not going to fear <laughs> you will have to give space i need to do another parikram a tulsi in the meantime some devotees are running to the director of that building and speaking that baba is playing is you know there is big problem snack going to bite that baba surely the snack going to bite that baba then that all you know sadhus they are coming to see the case and those who are very wise man i mean those the director they are very old sadhu they are speaking no actually he is not pale there is passing rimmer actually this old baba he is not playing with snack he is playing with parmatma surely he is not playing with snack but he is playing with parmatma then no danger you can go to your own seva automatically problem can over really so after some time the snack taking a turn just opposite turn going away and the sadhu doing parikram guru ma also used to say guru ma also used to say if you can touch a snack with your leg if you have no envious attitude for any jivatma then the snack surely cannot bite you guru ma used to teach me if you have 
no envious attitude you are totally free of any envious mood totally for any jiva even those who are li those who like to kill you you have like pollad maharaj i come to the point in that case if anybody like to do some harmful activities for you like beat you cut you he cannot do even snake or any ferocious animal cannot do any wrong against you so now the point is that pope was speaking after some days of this incident i mean the incident of that woodcutter eh who was attacked by a tiger in the forest he was given advice in advice how to approach how to go in spite of that he ignored and wanted to follow his own procedure well baba speaking one day one very elevated sadhu who is you know, having prema who is doing ram you know bhagwan naam and he have no external information he is dancing and singing and enter the forest he has no external consciousness he is just lost he is lost in his sankirtan and baba he is full of prema hari sankirtan hari naam sankirtan full of prema in a absorbing mood some village man they thought baba entering this forest so it is our duty he is very elevated sadhu so it is our duty to take some weapon and follow baba if i know we are not going to just we are not going to disturb that baba anyway at all if anything going to happen then we can take step very easily we can carry some weapon with us and secretly follow father at uh, that baba so some village man out of their curiosity they wanted to carry weapon with them without informing to the sadhu they are very secretly going behind they are following the sadhu baba speaking that sadhu air totally in a free of any envious attitude so there was bear and tiger so the village man they become very surprised they are going to maintain a safe distance from that sadhu but they wonder they 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 can become mad to discover that no tiger no bear nobody going to attack why they don't know some days ago in internet also somebody speaking one ramanandi sadhu he is singing it is in it is in the forest of uh what is called i uh, know urisha and mp border the big big forest i forget the name of that forest i usually speak the name now now i forget very dangerous forest one sadhu for long time he is staying in a bhajan kutir very unstable bhajan kutir i mean the bamboo structure with you know leaves you know everything they are full of snack beard everything tiger usually not coming but bear is there fox coming jackal coming you know they are coming very ferocious wolf coming but the sadhu doing sankirtan and whenever he is going to start sankirtan in the morning time or evening time there is some ferocious you know bear bear they are coming to dance i mean here he is doing sankirtan whenever he is starting no question whenever he is starting sankirtan immediately that bear specially one bear and other also they are coming to listen to his sankirtan they are not going to attack but a one village man wanted to take risks but that bear immediately wanted to attack him but in that bear never going to attack that sadhu so it's true what pope was speaking guru maharaj you know what told guru maharaj you know 
So the village man discover those ferocious animals. They are not anyway not going to attack that sadhu. You know. Those animals they used to hear the sankirtan and the musical instrument bina jantra. After hearing this kind of sankirtan, after hearing this kind of sankirtan, like like the case of that hunter about this hunter, Mahaprabhu told to Sanatan Gosai in Sanatan Sikha in Elhabad. Naraji Maharaj, in course of his travel to Ilhavad, in between he met with one one very very you know that name is very ferocious you know hunter. There is a big case I am not going to speak, but otherwise the main discussion I cannot get time. There also we get documents that though the hunter was very ferocious, very very. Low caste, very dangerous. But after hearing Hari Nam Sankirtan and advice from Naraji Maharaj and hearing Bina Jantra musical instrument, he also became he also became very good sadhu. We know it. So hundred percent is possible, you know. So this way, you know. Those who are following, those who are going to follow, those who are going to this village man, those who are going to follow that sadhu from backside without informing him, and they are going to carry some weapons with him. They become very surprised to see. They started calculating how it is possible. Some days before, some day just 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 some days before. The woodcutter went without weapon, and he was attacked by tiger. Whereas today, but today we find just you know, it is a surprise. No ferocious animal going to attack, like the case of Pallad Maharaj. Hiranyakashipu going to attack him in different way. He is going to take the help of poison, fire, going to throw him from up, going to cut him. I know, want to cut him into pieces, but he was not successful. Prabhupada now going to give example. Why I speak this? You know, advice of Prabhupada has some reason. Prabhupada speaking, those who are going to avoid pure bhakti, because according to their previous, you know, karma fall. They cannot accept pure bhakti. Little bit they are in favor of yoga, jnana. They like to help. They like to. They like to take the help of some black magic. This is the system. Very dirty situation. Now, Popad, what Popad wanted to speak? Those who are karmi, Popad wanted to speak. Ashtanga jagi. You know. Prabhupada going to Prabhupada want to Prabhupada want to compare Prabhupada want to compare this woodcutter with Ashtanga Yogi. Some problem can come. I can take the help of yoga and I can go out of problem, but if it will, it will take some time. In the meantime, if you are going to be attracted by, it happens so. Those who are doing actual Ashtanga Yoga. Tiger moving around in the forest, not going to touch. So many sadhu doing, but it depends upon the situation. If there is no stability, if some problem, you know, then immediately. Uh, so Papa is going to compare this woodcutter with the uh, Ashtanga yogi and Kormi or Bogi and uh, Kormi Min. Karmi or yogi, bhogi, bhogi. Those were karmi and bhogi enjoyer, sense enjoyer. Ah, Baba is going to compare you know, them with the case of that weapon holder who wanted to follow the sadhu behind. 
they depend upon the, they have some self confidence they like to but in bhajan self confidence is not applicable actually in bhajan actually in bhajan we always depend upon we always like to depend upon kripa guru kripa self confidence self confidence is material conception if at all if you are going to you know devil develop self confidence that's when you are material self confidence this word is not applicable in bhajan life in bhajan we always like to depend upon kripa it depends upon submission how much submission we always depend upon kripa we are less interested about self confidence self confidence is a material things so papa going wanted to compare this karmi and bogi and the sense and you are with a man who wanted to follow the sadhu with a weapon and and bhakti sahit papa wanted to compare the devotee who wanted to enter into forest by the help by the on the on the strength on the strength of hari kirtan hari bhajan follow hari kirtan so the devotee is compared the devotee pure devotee is compared with the case of a sadhu who is entering into the forest and with the help of sankirtan who is absorbing this is the hell prabha speaking sometime ashtanga yogi can take decision oh well we have prabha speaking ashtanga yogi is you know has some false ego going to think well i have yama niyam asam pranayam dhyan dharana all i have different kind of instrument of bhajan so i can get get control i can get victory over my self sovereign but many time it happens so in fifth canto in seven so many you can go and find different cases where we can find they start some you know some so called devotee start like the case of bharat maharaj he started bhajan finally it was not successful Ognidro, Ognidro, you know, is the son of, you know, Priya Brata. Also failure because some, you know, you know, some dancing party came to break his meditation. Then Bajan, Absara, his name of the Absara I forget. In the case of, you know. वशिष्ठ मुनि ये ऑल्सो अप्सरा केम इन द केस ऑफ दुर्भाषा मुनि ऑल्सो सो इट्स क्वाइट इन द केस ऑफ यू नो नर नारायण देर ऑल्सो अप्सरा केम सेंट बाय यू नो फॉलो एंड अल्टीमेटली इट वॉज अरेंज बाय इंद्र महाराज टू डिस्टर्ब नर नारायण फाइनली इंद्र महाराज को डिस्कवर दैट नर नारायण इज साक्षात भगवान सुप्रीम लॉर्ड so he was very fearful that i have done some offense mistake finally tilottama came to dance and finally heaven you know king of heaven indra maharaj was given one topmost apsara dancer of the heaven his name is urvashi urvashi was created from the thai from the thai portion of naranarayan follow urvashi and this urvashi was given to indra maharaj so that indra maharaj can enjoy in the heaven so this is a case papa speaking ashtanga yogi sometime think thinking well we have different kind of instrument yama niyama as asan pranayam dhyan dharana so many so i can get control over sense organs but this way to get control over sense organs is not you cannot be you know sure about it sometime you can but sometime you can fail you before 
before you before you are successful before you get control over your sense organs in the meantime if something happens then your case can be compared with the foolish woodcutter who is entering the forest he is speaking the well there is so many stick i can arrange i can cut a tree and use that as stick ashtanga yogi going to compare but kama krodha lobha moh madho masharjo all different kind of ferocious animal always going to follow you any time can attack you so i don't like to deliver it elaborate this case i can maybe i can discuss tomorrow so this is this is the safest procedure to depend upon pure guru vishnu and to start pure devotional activities that is the main point i like to speak now i like to discuss this point last last week i was discussing that naraji maharaj speaking glorifying prahlad maharaj so many think naraji maharaj speaking Nari Maharaj is Guru Tatta. I mean Guru of Pralad Maharaj is glorifying big way. Krishna Bisto Yo. Krishna Bisto Jo As Asmritat Mevo Matto Netan Gayan Kampamanu Rudangsho Lokanu. सर्वानु सर्वानु धरणो संस्कृति भ्यो विष्णु भक्ति हर्षया मासो तन्व नारदी महाराज स्पीकिंग यू आर डूइंग कृष्ण वजन एब्जॉर्बिंग वे इवन इवन यू कैन नॉट रिमेंबर योर ओन बॉडी एंड बॉडी रिलेटेड थिंग यू आर गोइंग टू लूज ऑल योर remembrance you are going to forget everything you can remember the shlok i discussed some weeks ago krishna bhakti sanatan ko say krishna shankar bhagwan se krishna bhakti sudha panat deho daihi ko visrute tesam pancha bhautik deho pi sachidanand rupata krishna vishto jo asritat mevo matto नृत्वन गायन कंपमानो रुदंश लोकानो सर्वानुधरण संस्तिभ्यो विष्णुर्भक्ति हर्षया मासो तन्म यू आर गोइंग टू डू भजन ऑफ कृष्ण एब्जॉर्बिंगली यू फॉरगेट योर बॉडी एंड बॉडी रिलेटेड थिंग समटाइम यू आर dancing like a mad unmatto sometimes singing sometime crying sometime your body we can see you are shaking whole body kampaman like you know earthquake whole body shaking this way by your absolute mood of bhajan by the help of absolute mood of your bhajan different moods of bhajan anyway you are going to help bonded soul to cut material bondage and cross this material ocean and develop krishna bhakti you can help them these all your transcendental activities these all your transcendental activities anyway have some great impact on common people those who are around you so knowingly and unknowingly you are going to propagate krishna bhakti i mean itself your presence all your activity is going to give some great impact you know into the heart of those you know bonded souls krishna bisto yo asritatmeva matto netvan gayan kampamano rudangscha लोकान सर्वानुधरण संस्तिभ्यो विष्णुर्भक्ति हर्षयासो तन्वन वेरी ग्लैडली 
you are going to propagate Krishna Bhakti. I mean, you are the preacher of Krishna Bhakti. Anyway. So, Bhagavan become very happy. Bhagavan become very happy because of the instruction of Bhagavan. Jare dekho tare kohe kaho Krishna Upadesh. Amar agai guru haya taro e desh. Jare dekho tare kaho Krishna Upadesh. Sri Krishna Jaitanya Mahaprabhu in course of South India trip he met with some Kurma Vipra and other Vipra, you know. Every time Mahaprabhu is going to speak, well, you will have to propagate Krishna Bhakti. Jare Dekho Tare Kaho. Whenever you see anybody, you advise him Krishna Sankirtan, Krishna Nam. It is the divine panacea, only solution, medicine. Nobody knows. Some days before I was discussing, na, kimo kimo shadham pricha simuro durmati, eh? Hari nama rasayanam pibo. You can remember some days before, <laughs> you forget everything. So this way, Mahaprabhu wanted to advise everybody. Jare dekho tare kahe Krishna upadesh. Whenever you meet with anybody, you advise him to chant Krishna to get the maximum, most benefit, topmost benefit. Because that is the only way, no other way open. So it is the advice of Mahaprabhu, whenever you meet with anybody, you advise Krishna. Jare dekho tare kohe Krishna upadesh. Amar agai guru haiya taro desh. It is my advice that you become guru, I mean guru mean, you will have to follow my instruction and prove that you are going to get that kind of standard platform, then you go on preaching. Before attaining that kind of platform, somebody putting question to Prabhupada, well, those who are going to take the darshan of Bhagavan in dream, or directly, indirectly, they can go for preaching. Prabhupada speaking. Somebody asking, well, Prabhupada, those who already meet with Bhagavan in dream or directly, indirectly, getting so many, they can go for preaching. Prabhupada, they're foolish. Actually, they can go for preaching. Bonded soul cannot go for preaching. With full of anartha, full of envious attitude, for different Sampradaya, Gurudev and Guru God Brothers, he cannot go. Foolish. If I speak, they become angry. If there is some envious attitude, then he cannot go for preaching. Or at all going, maybe 20 percent successful. Eh? It is like in a canvassing, but actual preaching is not possible. So long as you are, so long as so long as you are failure to take you up to the level of Nirmasa, you are preaching at the same time, you are going to express envious attitude for Gauriya Mart or your God Brothers, everything. How preaching? As per Siddhanta, don't fight. It is, called, it is like mathematics. It is like mathematics. You have, you have no power to cut this Siddhanta. As the Siddhanta, Prabhupada, the Guru Varga, and Mahaprabhu. So if I am if I, if I myself is not if I myself not going to elevate myself up to the platform of Nirmasa, no envious attitude for it. Because preaching means to show costless mercy, which is impossible for you with this kind of mood, full of anartha, or maybe fifty percent anartha, or maybe eighty percent anartha gone, twenty percent left. This kind of condition is not the condition of a preacher. A preacher can never go, even not with 10% anartha. A preacher should not go to foreign country anywhere. Even when, even when 10% anartha is still there, he cannot go. 
Because that anartha is one kind of contamination, like poison, his harikatha cannot give, give good result, it can yield very poisonous result. Follow. Try to accept the Siddhanta without any, without any angry attitude. Try to understand. Then you can go ahead in bhajan, otherwise not. So what is the advice of Mahaprabhu? Surely, surely, surely Mahaprabhu is not going to give advice to us all. Each and everybody, each and everybody that doesn't, this Siddhanta is wrong. Somebody speaking, well, it is the standing instruction of Mahaprabhu. We can go and preach, but not that. Kurma Vipra and that Kushti Vipra, they are anyway, they were successful, they were successful to enjoy the full kipa of Mahaprabhu, causeless mercy of Mahaprabhu. That's why Mahaprabhu is speaking, whoever you see, you can advise Krishna Bhakti, and it is my instruction, because they are already enjoying full kipa. And it is the Siddhanta Chaitanya Chaitamito. Krishna Shakti, Krishna Shakti, Krishna Shakti Bina Nahe Bhakti Pavartan. So I like mathematics, I already proved. It is true. Without Krishna Shakti, without Krishna Shakti, you cannot go for Pichi. Or I cannot go for Pichi. Without Krishna. If at all I am enjoying Krishna Shakti, by the help of Guru Kipa, Vaishnav Kipa, Sampradai Kipa, then I can go. Otherwise, preaching become false. Ten percent successful, twenty percent successful, maybe not hundred percent. Hundred percent means you have to make, you know, Vaishnav, not hooligan. You are going there not to make hooligan, not to collect money. This is not your duty. You. You, me, anybody running that way, get heavy, severe punishment after leaving body. Severe punishment, severe. Those are going to cheat. So anyway, it is the instruction of Mahaprabhu to the two Vipra, Kurma Vipra and you know, Kushti Vipra, they all, you know, speaking, uh, the Vipra, I forget the name, his name. Mahaprabhu giving instruction to them because they are already enjoying full kipa. So, without Krishna Sakti, you cannot go for preaching, I cannot go for preaching, not possible. The result will be negative. So, when Mahaprabhu is speaking, Jare dekho tare kaha Krishna, tare kaha Krishna upadesh. Whomever, whom, whomever you meet, whoever you meet with, you can speak about Krishna Nam and it is my inst instruction that you can act as Guru. First of all, you may qualify yourself as Guru, no qualification as Guru and you can say, my is the standing instruction of Mahaprabhu, wrong. Siddhanta totally wrong. Siddhanta totally wrong. Even if you are elect, even if you are elected and selected by your Guru there, if you cannot get in touch with your Sadguru, Vaishnava, cannot get the total etiquette, Siddhanta, which are Achar and everything, then whole public, whole world can give garland. But Siddhanta is wrong. He cannot act as Achar. Mahaprabhu never speak that way. All wrong Siddhanta. So now you see, I can come to the point. Prahlad Maharaj enjoying full kipa of Nishingadev. So it is possible for Pallad Maharaj, Naraji Maharaj speaking, you are propagating Krishna Bhakti, you are distributing Krishna Bhakti, your preaching is very perfect. So now you understand. Now next, actually, Naraji Maharaj again speaking. Naraji Maharaj speaking, well, we can remember to take you in the lap in the midst of ocean, Bhagavan Krishna appeared and when your father going to throw you from the hilltop into 
ocean, you know, in Vizac, one place, Gionni Singo. Then going to throw Prahlad from the hilltop, then Bhagavan appear there and going to take you in his lap and, and going to take care just like mother taking care, taking care of baby. So, Naraji Maharaj speaking, Bhagavan appeared in the midst of ocean to catch you, to save you, and in lap, he started taking care of you like a mother. And this sloka, seven number slim sloka, Krishnena Avur Bhuyo, Krishnena Avur Bhuyo, what is this? Try to hear. Krishnena Avir Bhuyo Tire Mahadhe Shanke Kritva Lalito Matribadya Brahme Shadino Kurvato Yapi is Stabogham Padyan Padyan Chana Dritto Sanama Nito Ya Naraji Maha speaking, this way Bhagavan wanted to save you even in the midst of ocean. He started taking care like a mother in his lap. And when Brahma, Mahesh or everybody started to stava, to pacify, to satisfy Bhagavan, but Bhagavan didn't care. Brahma, Mahesh or everybody started prayer, everything. But Bhagavan wanted to avoid, I mean, didn't care. He wanted to touch your body. He wanted to take care, foster. This way, even avoiding Brahma, Sankar, what to speak? Even Lakshmi, she was not given, you know, you know, he didn't care about even Lakshmi. And he was giving full attention to you, your devotional activities. Bhagavan was very satisfied. In Hari Bhakti Shudodai, one book, very nice book. Hari Bhakti Shudodai, one book is there. There we can find, after hearing, all the nice prayer from Prahlad Maharaj. Bhagavan was so happy, so happy. In, in Hari Bhakti Shudodai, one book, very important book. My Guru Mahal very often used to speak the name of this book. Bhul of Pool of Nectar. In Hari Bhakti Shudodai, it is written, after hearing all the stava, prayer of Prahlad Maharaj, which is full of, you know, devotional detachment. Yeah. Here it is written, some Jivatma, they are shedding tears. Somebody going to pray Dandavat Pranam to Prahlad Maharaj, somebody going to watch very carefully all the abnormal activities of Prahlad Maharaj's devotional activities. Because absorbingly, Prahlad Maharaj singing, dancing, shouting, crying. What he is doing, don't know. Nobody knows. Everybody was surprised to see the absorbing mood. Everybody was surprised to see the absorbing mood of Prahlad Maharaj. So anyway, Anybody going to see Prahlad Maharaj, surely they can purify them. And not only that, but also those who are, going, those who are having no aparat, previous aparat, maybe they are demon. Still, they are, going to, they are going to cut material bondage. This way, Prahlad Maharaj was successful to deliver so many, you know, Jivatma, 
Prahlad Maharaj is successful to take those Jivatma out of this material ocean. Prahlad Maharaj, Maharaj was successful to give them relief. Prahlad Maharaj was successful to give them relief from this material, painful, you know, world. And everywhere Prahlad Maharaj wanted to distribute and propagate Hari Bhakti. Also, I like to discuss the sloka I started with, you can remember. Then also, I can discuss from Hari Bhakti Sudhoda some slok. I like to discuss, try to remember the slok I already, is, you know, you know, started in the morning, you know, before, before Hari Katha. Prayena Deva Munayu Sabi Mukti Kama Maunam Charanti Vijani Na Parartha Nista Naita Na Vihaya Kipana Na Vinu Muksha Eko Nanyam Tada Sasaranam Brahmato Honu Parshe So this is the, this is the highness, this is the greatness of pure devotees. They never like to deliver themselves. Because they are already delivered. Follow. They like to deliver common Jivatma, bonded soul. In front of Nishinga Dev, Pradhatma speaking, O oh Bhagavan, usually we see O oh Bhagavan Nishinga Dev in front of Nishinga Dev, Pradhatma speaking, Prayena Deva Munaya Sabimukti Kama. Prahlad Maharaj speaking to Nishinga Dev, O oh Prabhu, usually we can see one devotee like to get free from this material world alone. They are not trying for others. Follow, Prahlad Maharaj speaking. Prayena Deva Munayu Sabi Mukti Kama Maunam Charanti Vijani Naparartha Nista. Some sadhus we can see. They are going to enter into solitary bhajan. They are doing bhajan. Okay, nice. They like to deliver themselves only. They are less, they are less interested about you and me. They are only interested to deliver themselves. Self-deliberation. So they are going to forest. They are not talking with anybody. Silent. Maun of Bratha. Everything they are doing. Astrity and finances. But only for their own, you know, <coughs> for their own benefit only. Parladma speaking, Parladma speaking to Nishinga Deva Prabhu, don't think that I am a selfish. I am not such a selfish. I like to see, I like to see that those Asura boys, they are in bonded, painful bonded condition. Prabhu, you are the only, you are the only way. You are almighty, you are all powerful. If you want to deliver them, what problem in it? Oh Prabhu, if you like to deliver them, what, what problem? If you desire, at the same time you can deliver. Because you are Supreme Lord. Prayena Deva Munayu Sabi Mukti Kama Maunam charanti bijani na paratha nista naita na vihayo kipana na vimumuksha yeko. I don't like to deliver myself except those bonded souls. If you like to deliver me, please, Prabhu, what to deliver? I already getting the association of your devotee Naraji Maharaj. So, about my, about my and deliverance, actually, there is no problem. Because I am already getting the association of a, your pure sadhu and in Shastra is written without the association of a sadhu, no one can go out of this material body. So I am already enjoying. So if you at all want to deliver me, I like, I like to seek. I like to seek kipa from you so that you can bestow kipa on them. Those Asura wives, you will have to deliver them. So, like Pralatma, you see, all our Guru Varga, like Bhakti Mutakur, Pohupa, Sanatana, Gosai, Rupa, Gosai, 
All our Guru Bhargava, those who are, uh, who are having no envious attitude for anybody, follow. Sila Bhakti to Madhugu Sri Maharaj. How merciful people like to misinterpret. Object, I like to protest. What a merciful Godmother. He is full you know, of disease. He was thrown out of room. He developed TB. And Madhav Goswami giving chance in, you know, temple, giving all, you know, milk, everything, giving medicine, full rest. Now, how I can say Madhav Goswami is envious? How I can say? If you go through the life history of Madhav Goswami, you can understand. Now, well, you can say why this condition is prevailing at present. If somebody is not going to follow Madhav Goswami Maharaj, or Tito Tito Gosi Maharaj, their instruction, then what we can do? If somebody is not going to follow me, my instruction, what I can do? My father also cannot deliver him. They are going to follow their fanciful rules. How I can deliver? Not possible. Even Prabhupada cannot deliver if you are going to follow your, you know, fanciful rules and regulations you are going to follow. So, this is no point. After Prabhupada gone, some problem can arise. Because due to Maya, some problem can happen. Also, I can discuss some point how some god brother going to fight with Madhukusi Maharaj on some special point that I can discuss tomorrow to prove that it is just like the fighting between Radharani and Chandravali, I can prove tomorrow. They are fighting for seva, not for any dirty reason. Anyway, so you see, Prahlad Maharaj is going to propagate Krishna Bhakti because he'll, all his pure activities, all his mood and pure activities automatically going to prove Hari Bhakti among devotees. Those who are going to pay Dandavat, going to watch him, those who are going to pay Pranam, everything. They are going to get result. What is the result? They are going to cut material bondage. Vaishnav Darshan, Vaishnav Darshan, Vaishnav Kripa is more than enough. Follow to cut Maya. Maya re Koriya Joy, Maya re Koriya Joy, Charano na Jai, Shadu Guru Kripa Bina, na Dekhi Upai. Well, after that, the, another sloka, I know. So, you know, you can remember the sloka. Krishna na avir bhuyo tire mahadhe Shanke kritva lalito matrivaya Brahmesha dino kurvato yopi stabugam Padmanchana drito sanamanitaya Bah, very nice. And number eight sloka, you try to give attention. What is this? Vitrasthena Brahmana Parthitoya Srimad Padam Bojamale Patitto Tishtan Uttapo Uttamange Karabhyam Dritvangeshu Nishingheno Lira. Again, I can read. Try to hear. Vitrasthena Brahmana Parthitoya Srimat Padamboja Mule Patitto Nipatto Tishtan Uttapo Tamange Karabhyam. Dhritvangeshu Nishinghena Lida. What does it mean? When Bamma, Sanka, they were very fearful to see the abnormal figure of Nishinga Dev, unusual. So, Parambhita, they are very, very fear. And they wanted to request you, Prahlad. Prahlad, follow, 
Brahma, Sankar, all they are going to pray by advice. He was they Prahlad Maharaj was advised. Prahlad Maharaj was advised by Brahma Sankar, very fearful they were. Why not to go? Because for because for you. Because only for you, Bhagavan appeared. To destroy Hiranyagasibu, who wanted to arrange different kind of atrocities on your linear life, only to save you, only to kill that demon, your father, Nishingadev appeared. No other reason. So why not to, Prabhu, my, my boy, my son, why not to approach and pay Dandavat? So, according to the advice of Sankar Brahma, you, I mean Prahlad Maharaj, you went to pay Dandavat in front of Nishinga. They prostrated Dandavat. Immediately, Nishinga Bhagavan, out of his affection, unparalleled affection, immediately wanted to catch you, and you are f paying flat to Dandavat, prostrated Dandavat on the ground. Nishinga is going to catch you and pull you and you know going to put his hand, blissful hand, on your head. And started licking your whole body. Like you can remember one you know Nishinga Puran, it is you know there. I can show you. Brihat Nishingo Pubat, you know, Brihat Nishingo Puran there also. Keshori, I am in the lion, sea lion, sea lion, though sea is lion, so sea lion, though very ferocious for all, you, me, for everybody, who can approach a lion? But the lion, very, but that lion is very affectionate for his, you know, baby, baby lion, going to lick the whole body. Kesori Vasapatanam, it is sloka is there. Nishinga Purapiyad Nishinga Puran. Though the lion is very dangerous, but the, but the lion is, is not at all dangerous for his for own children, for own baby. That lion is very dangerous, you know, but the lion is going to lick the whole body of a baby, lion baby. So it's quite lecture, is the sloka there. Keso rinam sapot, keso ribo sapotanam, ugro opi anugro evoyan. Ugro, you are ugro, very ferocious, but still not ferocious for own baby. Ferocious for all. So Prahlad, why not you approach? So, by the advice of Brahma Sankar, Prahlad Maharaj fearlessly. Many times Prahlad Maharaj, you know, in sloka speaking, Naham vivemite ati bhayanukasso jyohar konetra bhakuti ravaso grusang stak. Prahlad Maharaj speaking, Bhagavan, this your fearful figure, this your fearful figure is fearful and dangerous for everybody, not for me. Naham vivemite ati bhayanukasyo jyuhar ko netra bhukti rabaswa gradangsta anta srajaha kheta khata jyoho sanko karanat nirhad avita digvadiri vinna nakagra trasta asmi aham kipanavasalo ho adushagra sangsar jakra gadanat grasatam panitam Hey Bhagavan! Your fearful figure is fearful for everybody, not for me. Naham vivemi. I never fear because I know you are loveful Supreme Lord. Naham vivemi te oti bhayanakasyo. Very fearful figure. But it is not at all fearful for me. I can discuss tomorrow. No time. So here, Naraji Ma speaking. Vritrastena Brahmana Parthitoya Srimatpadambuja Male Mule Nipatto 
तिष्ठन्नुत्थाप्योत्तमांगे कराब्ज कराब्ज धृत्वांगेशु से निशिंगे न लीड़ निशिंग देव गोइंग टू गोइंग टू मेक यू स्टैंड अप बिकॉज यू आर पेइंग फ्लैट डन दबक गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू स्टैंड अप एंड कम नियर हिम भगवान एंड भगवान आउट ऑफ इस tremendous unparalleled affection bhagwan going to put his plum hand on your head this is this is just rare this is just rare nobody going to get this kind of you know keep a impossible is impossible nobody going to and not only that but also when bhagwan is very clever I also told in the morning time Hari Katha, Hindi Katha, Bhagwan and Guru Vishnu they are very clever. Sometimes they like to test you. They can act and speak in such a way so that they, you become angry. If you become angry, then you are failure. <laughs> they like to speak in such a way. They like to do or speak in such a way. so that you become angry and if at all if you are angry then you are failure <laughs> so they are very clever so bhagwan here also very clever bhagwan very cleverly wanted to offer some offer something wanted to offer something to nishing to prahlad prahlad you beg for some boon prahlad why not to beg prabhu i don't need any i see you that is more than enough well still in my honor because i appear in front of you i know my darshan is more than enough to you i know it very well still in my honor i come here na so you will have to ask something i like to bless you then prulla saying what i can beg i know i am i have no desire i have no desire prabhu what i can well still you must ask something Then Pallad Ma is bound to speak that way. Kama nam hidi sangroho bhavatastu bine varam. Kama nam hidi sangroho. Well, if you like to bless me, Prabhu, you bless me in such a way so that never, never, never any kind of desire can appear inside heart. Oh, so clever! Yes, never, never, never any kind of desire. can appear inside her this kind of blessing i want well you are very clever so in nine number shloka it is written yas chitro chitta graho chaturi chayair yas try to hear properly those who have some preliminary conception of sanskrit yas chitro chitta graha You know what is? Yas chitro chitta graho chaturi chayi rusrijjamanam hari na param padam brahmadi sangpartham upiksha kevalam brave asu bhaktim nijo janmo janmasu. What? Try to hear again. Yas chitro chitta graho chaturi chayi. ऋसृज्यमान हरिना परम पदम ब्रह्मादि संपार्थम उपेक्षो केवल ब्रवे अशो भक्ति निज जन्म जन्मसु वट डज इट मीन नरहरि निशिंग भगवान वॉज वेरी क्लेवर even brahma shankar going to pray that kind of avila prayer parampat and bhagwan wanted to give to you very very easily parampat bhagwan wanted to give you very easily but you wanted to ignore what i can do with brahma pad this no 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 on the contrary he wanted to pray to nishinga dev Pure devotion, life after life, life after life, like Bhakti Mohan Thakur writing in Kit. Pashu pakki hoye tha ki shorge ba niroye, 
प्रशु पक्षी हुए ताकि स्वर्ग व निरय तब भक्ति रहु भक्ति बिनो दही दय फलो वार एस ए ओ निशि आवार प्रहला आवार भक्ति ठाकुर राइटिंग ओ प्रभु अकॉर्डिंग टू माई कर्म फल आई कैन एंटर इन टू एन एनी ओम लाइक बिस्ली ओन और एनी वर्ड बीस्ट और बर्ड दैट्स नॉट ए बिग फैक्टर बट यू ए ब्लेस मी शो दैट आई कैन गेट योर डिवोशनल मूड आई लाइक टू गेट बाकी वृत्तासुर ऑल्सो संसार चक्र भवत सकर्मसु तब जनेश सक्षम दिस इज द प्रेयर सो यू सी ओनली एंड ओनली वॉन्टेड टू प्रे दो भगवान वॉन्टेड टू यू नो वॉन्टेड टू रिक्वे यू नो ओ प्रहलाद यू आक समथिंग यू आक समथिंग यू आक समथिंग वेल यू नेवर वॉन्टेड टू आक्स फाइनली इन इज ऑनर इन द ऑनर ऑफ भगवान यू वॉन्टेड टू बेक दिस बून ब्लेसिंग वट इज दैट वट इज दैट दैट इज वेरी एक्सिलेंट ब्लेसिंग वट इज दैट कामानम हृदय संग्रह बाबा दस्तु बिनेवर एनी काइंड ऑफ कामा आई मीन द एनी काइंड ऑफ स्मेल ऑफ कामा कैन नॉट एपियर इन साइड माई हार्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ ब्लेसिंग प्रभु दिस कैंड ऑफ बुन I want to get from you. If you like to give, well, if you can give. If you don't like to give, that's up to you. This kind of blessing. Follow. And in Hari Bhakti Shuddha Dai, it is nice reading in Hari Bhakti Shuddha Dai. Very nice. What is that? My Guru Path Padma all many time used to speak in his Hari Katha. Many time. Very laughful sloka. What is that? स्थानसी स्तपसी स्थित अहम तं प्रतवानो देव मुनिंदगुह्यम काचम विचिन्नुन्नपी दिव्यो रन स्वामीन किता तो बरम न जाचि वर इज दैट स्थानसी स्तपसी स्थित अहम स्थानसी स्तपसी स्तपसी स्थित अहम वाट स्पीकिंग स्थानसी तपसी स्थित अहम तम प्राप्त बानो देव मुनिंद गुह्यम काचम विचिन्नपी दिव्यरत्न स्वामीन किता तो स्मी परम न जाचे वर इज दैट वेरी ब्यूटिफुल प्रहलाद महाराज आउट ऑफ इज एक्सट्रीमली हम्बल एटीच्यूड क्रेविंग मूड With craving mood and extreme humble attitude, craving mood, speaking, Prabhu, you know, it is actually the, it is actually Hari Bhakti Shuddha Dhaay. It is the, it is the sloka of Dhruva Maharaj, not Pallad Maharaj. Uh, still, if the sloka is speak here, just fitting, very good. It is the sloka by Dhruva Maharaj. दो महाराज स्पीकिंग प्रभु आई फील साई आई फील साई टू कन्फेस ध्रुव महाराज स्पीकिंग प्रभु वेल प्रभु आई फील साई टू कन्फेस दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेन आई वेंट टू फॉरेस्ट बाय द एडवाइस ऑफ माई मदर आई वेंट देयर टू स्टार्ट भजन एस्टिटियन पिनाशन भजन आई मीन but there was some desire what is that desire well i am thrown out of the lap of my father i like to get that throne stana vila i like to i like to i like to get the chair i like to get the chair of my father <coughs> follow i like to get the chair of my father who is the king of whole world follow who is that उत्तान पाद ए फॉर गेट प्रिय व्रत एंड उत्तान पाद ओ फादर ए फ्रेंड ए आई मीन यू नो ब्रदर्स इच अदर उत्तान पाद आई मीन ध्रुव मार स्पीकिंग आई फील साई भगवान यू आर ग्रेटफुल आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू यू 
I am ever grateful to you. Previously, I had some desire. With some plan and program, I started my bhajan. Now, we, now I, now I feel shy to confess it, Prabhu. My desire was to capture. I mean to get the throne asan chair of my father Uttanpath. My heart was contaminated, but I don't know how. I don't know how. Maybe by the desire of Guru Dev Naraji, somehow I started my bhajan. I was child. I don't know what to ask, what not to ask. I a very innocent boy. I know nothing. Foolish. Only I started bhajan. In course of my bhajan, I was changing my heart. And now, when you appear in front of you, all my desire, everything, all vanish. All everything, oh Prabhu, unexpected, unexpected, inconceivable. You now appear in front of me. Ha ah, Prabhu. Oh, how merciful you are, Prabhu. How merciful you are. You appear in front of me. Unexpected, inconceivable. How I can and how I can expect that you can appear in front of me? Well, when you appear in front of me, then what kind of desire can be there inside my heart? I confess that previously when I started my bhajan. There was some desire, but now my heart is totally free of any desires. That's why, that's why Dhruva Mahara speaking, Sano Vilasi Tapadishtitoham. I started Tapasya, Astridi and Pena Bhajan, with some desire. But I get you, which is impossible. Tom Praptavan, Deva Munindra Gujyam, even those were demigods, Devendra Munindra. Those are Rishi Muni is impossible. Impossible, quite impossible. Impossible. Deva Muninda Vijam, big, big Rishi Muni, Sadhu, they cannot give you a darshan. But I get your darshan. You show your lotus feet to me. What else I can expect more? You know, Guru Maharaj used to speak in a very, very humble mood. Dhruva Mahara speaking, I was searching, I was searching the dumping place of the stone chip and, and glass, broken glass. I was searching the place, dumping place of broken stone chips and you know, and you know, glass, glass, broken glass. In course of my, you know, searching, searching and searching, how I don't know, how lucky I am, how lucky I am, I am, I am, I am, how lucky I am, that I get one actual diamond. Follow what I say. Kachan vichinnan api dibbaratyam. I was searching. Broken dumping place of, you know, broken glass piece, you know, stone cheese, everything. It is beyond my expectation that I can, in course of my searching, I can get one genuine diamond. You know, in my life I have seen, in our locality there are so many jewellery. They teach me that there is, you see, so many duplicate diamonds, so many. I cannot, I am confusion. I say those are duplicate diamond. I detect it is a genuine diamond. They say, no, it is not genuine. Achha, it's not genuine, but it's very... All that glitters is not gold. <laughs> and uh, false gold is more bright than genuine gold. Finally, they teach me, this is the procedure. Oh, really? So, if somebody wants to cheat me, anyone, suppose I am going to approach one jewelry shop, they are going to show me so many jewelry you know, stone and, you know, jewelry item, you know, follow, jewels. But if I have, if I have no idea, no experience, I cannot. So, Prahlad Maharaj speaking, Kachan Bichinnan Napidi Bharatnam. I was searching that the dumping place of stone chips and, you know, and glass, broken glass. I don't know how lucky I am. I find one genuine 
ratna jewel like you kacham bichinnan nopi dibratnam i get i mean i get the darshan of your lotus feet ho samin i don't want any benediction i i want nothing now i am completely satisfied i want nothing prabhu believe me samin kitab to usme param na jaache ho my lord ho my prabhu i am totally satisfied i am totally successful i am totally you know successful now i don't want any benediction though though i know i feel sigh i started my study and finances finances with some plan to get some boon from you but now believe me i am totally satisfied prabhu i am totally satisfied i am totally satisfied i am feeling saturation i never i i am not going to feel any you know necessary to ask for boon from you i am more than in enough for me you are giving all to me you are giving all to me you are giving everything to me prabhu your charan darshan is the is the complete assets your charan darshan is the complete assets prabhu what kind of darshan i can expect yo charan darshan is a more than enough i get it prabhu you are asking you want to give me some benediction oh, prabhu i confess i started my bhajan with some plan and program that all my now all my program is finished i don't like to get any benediction from you because i am satisfied to ask to ask to ask something from prabhu is not good if i love if i love my guru maharaj if i love my guru maharaj genuinely if i love my guru maharaj genuinely i cannot expect the cheer of my guru maharaj in my own life i can feel sigh guru maharaj you arrange me you bless me so that for infinity period i can sit near your chair your turn asan I never like to occupy your asan. I never like to become guru. Believe me or not, I can touch everything and speak. I can solemnly say, Prabhu Guru Maharaj, I never want to occupy your chair. I never want to become, but I must become guru. You know, I must become guru because I will have to speak Hari Katha. I will have to maintain my etiquette, achar, and everything. Papa speaking. Well, we never want to occupy the asana, but we must be guru. We never, we never make a plan. We never make a plan to keep ourselves in a very low stage. We must, we must go up and up, up to the platform of Guru Path Padma to serve Guru Dev and Guru Varga. We cannot say. that we can never become guru well guru giri you are not going to give initiation where is can you point out one man can you point out one jivatma who is actually interested to start hari bhajan so prabhupad used to search for such a jivatma who is really interested to start hari bhajan Usually, Prabhupada never wanted to give initiation to each and everybody. No, first of all, Prabhupada used to give, you know, okay for long time staying. First of all, giving Hari Nam for long time doing Hari Nam. Prabhupada watching what is their mentality, what is their activities. After getting stability, some temple commander going to request Prabhupada you can give red cloth to him. Well, after ten years, fifteen years. Prabhupada is going to give red cloth. Even after maintaining red cloth for twenty years, then Prabhupada can give or cannot give sannyas. So now, now you see the Siddhanta Bichar. Now all sahaja, all sahaja. Well, you can come. I can give at a time. Hari Nam, Diksha, red cloth, sannyas, all at a time. <laughs> This is called weakness of Guru. This is called the weakness of. This is called the weakness of Guru. If somebody is going to ignore me, 
If somebody is going to ignore me unnecessarily, because he cannot maintain his self-interest, simply he likes to kick me, but I am not going to say that I have self-confidence. But I have Guru Kipa, so I can realize, I can keep full strength inside my heart. If, even if you are going to ignore me, you are going to hear my Harikatha, not hearing Harikatha, because my Harikatha is not business. Somehow some Madhuguri can come, I can maintain my library, puja, gosala, everything. Madhukuri. This way I am maintained. If somebody like to send, can send. Not like to send, cannot send. That's up to the book publication. So long, I was doing alone. Thousands of books I was publishing alone. Everybody knows in the Gauriya society. Alone I am doing. Because I am not alone. With me, my Gurudev and Guru Bhargadeva. I am coolly, I am going to carry my books, I am going to edit, I am going to proofread, I am going to make design, I am going to distribute all, everything, all single man entrepreneurship. Single man entrepreneurship. So try to remember, if you have, if you have love for Bhagavan, if you at all, if you have love for Bhagavan, then anyhow, at any situation, you can come out success, successful. Nobody can stop you. I promise, I challenge. Prayena deva munayu sabi mukti kama maunam charant bijani na parartho nista naita no bihayo ki panan no bimumukshye ko na nyam tadasa saranam brahmato nupashe vanchakalpataru se ki pasindu bhavacha patitanang pavanu bhavishna vyo namun.